Hello, hello class, my name is Joe Sullivan. Welcome to a video on using Microsoft Azure, creating a Ubuntu virtual machine and then remoting into it using SSH. So essentially we're gonna create a, a VM instance of uh, Ubuntu and then we're gonna create uh, a key for SSH to remote into it. Let's go ahead and get started. First thing you wanna go is to the Azure portal or home page and you want to find the link to add or create a virtual machine. Uh, if I click on home at current time the virtual machine is displayed here. Um, I can go ahead and create a virtual machine. I'm going to create a new resource group, call it CIS125. A virtual machine name, CIS125VM name for lack of any official name. It is an Ubuntu server. Uh, we're going to choose either an SSH public key or create a password for this. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and do a password for now. I'm going to do my username is ACCT. My password uh, is going to be Cisco1234567. Okay. Inbound port rules, uh, none. Uh, we're going to do allow selected ports. I'm going to drop this down and, and allow HTTP as well as HTTPS. On the disks, uh, premium is what's recommended. You can also just use standard, that's fine. Um, it's however you want to do that. On networking advanced, uh, it's going to give you some internal IP addresses, that's fine. I don't need accelerated networking, and I'm going to allow the selected ports we chose earlier. Next, I'm going to click on my management. Um, I don't need any diagnostics because I don't want to pay for it. Um, you can have it selected on or not. Uh, it's up to you. I'm just going to click keep it off. And auto shutdown, I'm going to yes, it's going to auto shut down at 7 p.m. if I forget to disable it. Next on advanced, uh, any, any advanced features, I don't really need any. So it's that simple. Uh, you can go to tags. I'm not going to create any tags for billing tags and creation reasons. Uh, if it verifies that everything's good, it says validation passed. That's what you're looking for. It gives you a warning. It says you have SSH ports open to the internet. You're better off putting a firewall on that. I'm not getting into that level of detail for this class. Uh, we just know that we have SSH ports open to the internet. Um, but I do have inbound ports of those three. Next thing we're going to do is go ahead and create that server. Uh, it takes about five to ten minutes, so I'll pause the video and then we'll resume it when the server is created. Uh, one thing just to keep in mind, uh, don't leave this page, just keep it open because you want to see what's going on with the server. Uh, it, you can refresh it at periodic intervals, but you'll go through a series of stages here and it'll show that each stage is passed. Okay, so these are now being created, but we want to get that to the past stage, so we're just going to wait for a moment for this. Alright, so I waited uh, approximately five minutes. It says your deployment is complete. That's great. That's what I need. I am going to then connect to it. So I press connect. We're going to connect via SSH. That's secure shell. It's by command line. I press that. It's going to ask us to either use PuTTY or other clients. Let's first select PuTTY and see what it says. PuTTY goes through a sequence of exactly how to connect to it using PuTTY Gen. Okay, so instead of PuTTY, which I am uh, not running a GUI on my Mac, I'm using a command line. On other clients, it's going to give you information. This is through a... I'm going to copy this expression that's going to create a key locally. So as I need to enter that on my terminal prompt, this is generating public key and the rest you basically just press enter through it. You'll see your key fingerprint there. So here's the important thing I need. Um, this information right here, right here below it, is what I will need to reference that key. So we're going to do a tilde. That's my key name. If I test the connection, press OK, 
confirm the test connectivity, I should get a success uh, page from Microsoft indicating that our connection to that by um, SSH will be successful. It says network connectivity is allowed. That's good. So I'm going to go back to that and I'm going to really connect to it for real this time. So again, I enter that path name. It says basically all you have to do is use this script. So I'm going to go to my terminal. I'm going to paste that SSH sequence in. Press enter. It's asking for a password. C I S C O one two three four five six seven. That's it. I'm in the Ubuntu machine. So if I successfully went in, into that Ubuntu machine and was able to access that device. Okay, so this is you'll see here I'm in the Ubuntu machine. That's confirmation that we are in the cloud on that Azure machine in Ubuntu. Okay, I hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching and have a great day.